Welcome everyone to another basic grammar lesson. I'm your teacher Randy League and today we are going to study the future tense with going to. Welcome back. Today's lesson is a grammar lesson for beginners. In a previous lesson, we studied the future tense form with will. For example, I will go to Tokyo tomorrow. If you want to watch that lesson, again, click here. Today, we will go over another type of future tense. This time, we will look at the future tense using going to plus verb. I will explain the grammar, then we will look at an example conversation. Last, we will do some practice. Before we start, we publish new videos almost every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to learn about our latest videos. Also, if my English is difficult for you, turn on the English subtitles and it may help you understand a little more. Creating sentences using this grammar is not very difficult, but there are a few things that we need to remember. Basically, what we will do is add a be verb, like uh, am, is, are, to going to, plus a verb to sentences. For example, I am going to eat sushi tonight. Here, the be verb will change depending on your subject. So, if the subject of your sentence is he or she, we will use is going to plus verb. If the subject is I, then we will use am going to plus verb. If the subject is they, we will use are going to verb. Let's take a look at some examples. I am going to play baseball tomorrow night. Here, the subject is I, so we use am going to play. She is going to buy a new car next week. Here, the subject is she, so we use is going to buy. They are going to watch a movie tonight. Here, the subject is they, so we use are going to watch. John is going to eat dinner with Mary. Here, the subject is John. When we use a person's name as a subject, we use is going to. Here, we use is going to eat. Todd and Mike are going to go to Beijing next Tuesday. Here, the subjects are Todd and Mike. These are two people's names, so we use are. In this example, we use are going to go. We can see here that depending on our subject, the be verbs change. Also, we can see that most of the sentences have a time word in them. This grammar is usually used to talk about future plans. These future plans you may have already decided. 
For example, let's say that last week I decided to cook dinner for my girlfriend this Saturday. Then Friday, one of my friends asked me, do you have any plans tomorrow? I would respond with, I am going to cook dinner for my girlfriend tomorrow. Be careful. You probably have noticed that this grammar is similar to the present continuous. Let's take a look at two sentences. I am playing baseball. I am going to play baseball. Sometimes this can be a little difficult to understand. Because it is so similar, it is a good idea when using this grammar to add a time word or phrase to the sentence. Maybe you could add the word tomorrow or next week, Saturday, June 15th. This will make it easier to understand. For example, I'm going to play baseball tomorrow. I'm going to play baseball this Saturday. I'm going to play baseball next week. Be careful. It can be easy to make a mistake using this grammar. Next, let's take a look at some other sentences using this grammar. This time, we will take a look at some negative sentences. Negative sentences are sentences that have the word not in them. Let's look at some examples. I'm not going to play baseball tomorrow night. She isn't going to cook dinner Saturday. This is pretty simple. We add not to the be verb. Often, we will use one negative sentence and then one normal sentence right after. Uh, like this. I'm not going to play baseball tomorrow night. I have to do my homework. She isn't going to cook dinner Saturday. We are going to go to a restaurant. Let's take a look at how to make questions using this grammar. Before we start, I want to remind you that most of the basic grammar forms that you will study will have two different types of basic questions. Yes, no questions, and information questions. Understanding this can help you remember how to make grammatically correct questions. In this section, we are going to take a look at how to make some information questions. Information questions start with WH question words like what, who, where, why, whose, when, and how. When we first made our sentences, I told you that we have to think about the subject of our sentence because we will have to change the be verb. This is the same for questions. If we are using he, then you also use is in our question. 
If we're using you, then we will use are with our question. Let's take a look at some basic information questions. What are you going to do Monday? Where is John going to go next weekend? Who is she going to watch the movie with? Just like the previous sentences, we can see here that our be verbs change depending on the subject. Here we have are with you. Here we have is with John. And here we have is with she. Next, let's take a look at making yes, no questions. Here is an example. Just like information questions, we also have to change the be verb with yes, no questions. Is he going to do the laundry tomorrow? Are they going to eat out tonight? Is Jenny going to watch a movie Sunday night? Are Jenny and Tom going to watch a movie? Here we can see that the subject of the sentence is he. So when the subject is he, we should use is to start our question. Here we see that the subject is they. So when the subject is they, we should use are to start our questions. And last, we see that the subject is Jenny. When one person's name is a subject, we should use is. If the subject is two people's names, like the last sentence, Jenny and Tom, we should use are to start our questions. Don't forget that yes, no questions will start with the be verbs, such as uh, is, are, and information questions will start with the words who, where, what, when, why, how. We can answer these yes-no questions like this. Is he going to do the laundry tomorrow? Yes. He is. No, he isn't. Are they going to eat out tonight? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Is Jenny going to watch a movie Sunday night? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Are Jenny and Tom going to watch a movie? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Sometimes people will shorten this grammar. Normally we use is going to verb. For example, he is going to cook dinner tomorrow. But 
you can shorten this to say, he is cooking dinner tomorrow. Now, I want to go back to our original example sentences. Let's take a look again. I am going to play baseball tomorrow night. She is going to buy a new car next week. They are going to watch a movie tonight. John is going to eat dinner with Mary. Todd and Mike are going to go to Beijing next Tuesday. Here we have the sentences that we studied before. Often, many people will change the sentences to make them shorter. The sentences still have the same meanings. Uh, let's take a look. I'm playing baseball tomorrow night. She's buying a new car next week. They're watching a movie tonight. John's eating dinner with Mary. Todd and Mike are going to Beijing next Tuesday. Here we see that they took out the going to and added ing to the verbs. The sentences have the same meaning as the previous sentences that we looked at. But, of course, the sentences look very much like the present continuous. So, they are very easy to get confused. My advice to you is if you are a beginner student, try not to use this style. Use the longer style. Of course, remember that some people who you talk to may use this style. And in that situation, you will have to understand that. But for now, try to use the longer style yourself. Next, let's take a look at a sample conversation where the two people talking are using the grammar we just studied. After you listen to the conversation, I'm going to ask you some questions about it. After that, I will ask you some similar questions about yourself. For all of the questions, try to answer as best you can. Hi, John. How are you? Not bad. And you? I'm great. I'm getting ready for my vacation. Your vacation? Where are you going to go? I'm going to go to Hawaii. That's great. Are you going to go with your wife? Yes. We are going to go together, but she is going to go home a little early. That sounds like a lot of fun. What are you going to do there? Well, I'm going to go scuba diving on Monday. Then, I'm going to eat a lot of good Hawaiian food Tuesday afternoon. I'm also going to watch some traditional Hawaiian dancing. Wow, that's a busy schedule. Your wife will probably be tired. My wife? She's not going to do any of that. She's going to go to the beach every day and drink daiquiris. She said that she wants to relax. I can understand that. I guess, but I will be a little lonely. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions about the conversation that you just heard. Where is Daryl 
going to go on his next vacation. Is Daryl going to go to the beach every day? What does Daryl's wife want to do in Hawaii? Let's go over the answers. Where is Daryl going to go on his next vacation? The correct answer is, he is going to go to Hawaii. Is Daryl going to go to the beach every day? The correct answer is, no, he isn't. His wife is going to go to the beach every day. What does Daryl's wife want to do in Hawaii? The correct answer is, she wants to go to the beach every day and drink daiquiris. Or you could also say, she wants to relax. Both of these answers are correct. Now I'm going to ask you some similar questions. Please answer using your own personal information. Also, try to answer using the grammar you just learned. Let's start. What are you going to do on your next vacation? What are you going to do on your next vacation? Are you going to go anywhere? Are you going to go anywhere? How long are you going to stay there? How long are you going to stay there? Let's do some practice. I will show you some incomplete sentences. I want you to finish the sentences using the verb in the parentheses and the grammar we learned today. The sentences in the A column are all invitations. The sentences in the B column are all replies. After you complete the sentences, I want you to match the invitation to the correct reply. Let's look at an example. Here we have an incomplete sentence, and here we have the verb do. What blank you blank tonight? This is a question, and we see here that the subject is you. So we will use are and going to do to finish the sentence. What are you going to do tonight? Would you like to do something with me? Next, let's match this invitation to a reply from column B. Here we have three replies. Let's read them. A, I'm cooking tonight. B, I'm not going to do anything. I'd love to do something with you. C, he is going to go to the school at 10. Well, I think the correct reply is B. So the conversation looks like this. What are you going to do tonight? Would you like to do something with me? I'm not going to do anything. I'd love to do something with you. Okay, finish the sentences and match the invitations to the replies. Good luck.
Let's go over the answers. Number one. What are you going to do tomorrow? Do you want to go out? Number two. We are going to have a party on Saturday. Would you and your wife like to come? Number three. Are you going to do anything on Friday night? Would you like to see a movie? A. Well, my wife is going to visit her mother, but I am going to be home. I'd love to go. B. Sorry, I can't. I am going to work overtime. How about Sunday? C. Can we go to the late show? I am going to stay at the office until 8. After that, I'm going to go to the gym. Next, let's match the invitations to the replies. Number one matches to B. Number two matches to A. Number three matches to C. Next, I am going to show you some incomplete sentences. I'm also going to show you some verbs. I want you to use the verbs to complete the sentences. There will be a total of 10 sentences. Let's take a look at an example. I'm hungry. Blank something. Well, if he is hungry, then he's probably going to eat something. So, in the blank, we should write, I'm going to eat. Be careful. There are also questions as well. Good luck.
Let's go over the answers. Number one, what is Rachel going to do when she leaves school? Number two, there is a great movie on TV tonight. Are you going to watch it? Number three, John says he's feeling tired. He is going to lie down for an hour. Number four, it's Jason's birthday next month. We are going to give him a present. Number five. I'm really hungry. I'm going to eat the sandwich. Number six. Jane is going to London next month. She is going to stay with some friends. Number seven. It's a sunny day. I don't want to take the train. I am going to walk. Number eight. What are you going to wear on your date tonight? Number nine. My face is dirty. I'm going to wash it. Number 10. I need to talk with John. I'm going to call him. Okay, now I'm going to give you some simple homework. I want you to think about four different things you are going to do in the next week. It could be tomorrow, it could be today, it could be Wednesday. I want you to write four sentences using the grammar we just learned. I also want you to write two sentences about the things that you are not going to do. Here is my homework. I'm going to bake cookies tonight. I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow morning. I'm going to eat some tacos next Saturday. I'm going to clean my bathroom this afternoon. I'm not going to buy a car this year. I'm not going to eat pizza today. Well, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section. If you liked our video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. My name is Randy League, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.